Get you one. Mm. Top of the morning, friends and family. Special day around here today for many reasons. First of all, we've got some eggs that just hit the ground from this girl here, Desi, fire clown. Now these eggs she's got here are going to be the fourth generation of snakes bred here at Triple B. Her grandmother was Lucy, who was our first fire clown, who unfortunately passed away due to some egg binding issues. But Lucy was the mother of Cindy here our pastel fire and she clown, or firefly and she clown. And Cindy's also gravid, going into her prelay shed. And so Desi is the daughter of Cindy. And so the offspring from Desi will be Cindy's grand offspring. So pretty exciting. I, I love the multi-generational things going on here. And then we got just clown coming down the line. Clown's one of my favorite things to work with as far as ball python traits go. So it's pretty cool to have that, that going. L love that fourth generation. Can't wait for the fifth and sixth generations and so many more generations down the line. We're always going to keep at least one of the offspring so we can kind of keep that tradition going. Now, other, things, other interesting thing is that of all the clutches we have on the ground so far this season, which are three, we're leaving them all with the moms. And there's they've all had... Exactly eight good eggs and zero slugs. All three of them. I think it's a good sign. She's a good mom, too. <laughs> In other news, you gotta feed some snakes. Take two. There was a day, the other day, when I went... Are we recording this time? Good. Went out on these stand-up boards with some buddies, and we paddled down the creek and into the Salinas River and it was a little tumultuous. I may have almost died in one spot at these waterfalls. But all of where I'm walking was water. So it's gone down quite a bit, but I'm not going to tell my mom that I defied death over here. Hey mom! We got a little muddy path going that way. When this was at its fullest, like how far, how, do you have any idea how, how far the water was? Probably went way over, way over there that tree. It was probably flowing up there. Wow. That's usually where we would cross, but not today, Junior. And you can see all the debris that's left on this tree, so the water was over my head where I'm standing right now. It happened. Yeah! Yay! Then I did a bunch of deadlifting at CrossFit, and then after that we had multiple days of rain where I basically just sat either in a car or at a desk, but just sitting for like a day and a half straight, and then went to play pickleball. And when I bent over to pick up the ball, like lightning struck in my sacrum, which is the lower spine area. And it was no good. It, it, I couldn't move right for about a day or two. But now I'm back on my feet, walking around a bit. So I've been playing some pickleball to try and loosen up again. And been having a lot of fun at pickleball recently, actually. Um, it's been a blast. But anyway, it's just a little, little bit of what's been happening with me physically here for the last uh, few days. Just give you guys a little update on that. But what's really cool about today is any words of wisdom, Steve? Uh, <clears throat> don't overcook the sausage. got two kids that have the same birthday and we're maybe looking at having a third kid have the same birthday it's not looking too much like that how, how you feeling mommy we've got 10 hours 12 how many hours do we have what time is it it's 
1254. We've got 11 mm. hours for you to have this baby mm. for us to have three kids on the same day. <laughs> Probably not happening, huh? No. It's all right. At this point, well, because Noah and Leah were both um, about 10 days past my due date. Leia was 11 days past our due date. So, at this point, if he's born in March, I'll be happy. <laughs> but he could come the first week of April. So, just just the waiting game at this point. But, we've got lots to celebrate today. Um, huh, Leia? I could say so much, but I think we all know a mother's love is the like the strongest force in the world, right? There may be one or two things that can contend with it, but we'll just, <laughs> I'll, just I'll just defer to you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fun having them on the same day. They've never like minded sharing their birthday, so it's really sweet. I think Eli feels a little left out sometimes, <laughs> poor guy, but he's sweetheart he made them both cards and he's being a good sport and they're sharing their stuff with him so we got some little ceramicists in the making making pottery and yeah just uh yeah <laughs> hey, I got super pregnancy brain <laughs> what do you think about being five how's it feel to be five you feel any different are you happy to be five are you drunk? <laughs> oh, back still not 100%, especially after sitting for a while. So we're at the birthday place, the birthday party location where we had the kid's birthday. I had a bunch of friends come. I didn't film any of it because I was just hanging out. And it was, but I want to share a little story from there with you, even though you weren't there. And I'm filming the kids less in the vlogs and, and I'm showing their faces less because apparently YouTube still hates it. And still a win for me because I've got all the footage of the cool things they do, even if I'm not putting them up here on YouTube as much. I at least still have it. I guess it's a bummer for you guys. If you want to petition YouTube and find out when they're going to let us put kids back on without punishing us for doing so, us creators, us adult creators, I don't know. Because I'm not going to start just a kid's channel because this is not a kid's channel. Anyway, uh, we're getting ready to sing... And we didn't know this place also had a trivia night tonight. So it was like, there's a whole bunch of people there for this trivia night. And we're just there for a birthday party. And Hillary's getting ready to light the candles. And they start back up with the trivia. And they're like reading off all the answers from the previous thing and moving to the next thing. And one of the buddies goes up to the guy with the mic and says, Hey, man, do you mind if we took a quick pause in this trivia so we can sing for the kid's birthday? So it was really cool. The guy announces over the mic, Hey, everybody, we're going to sing. So everybody in the entire place sang for Noah and Leia for their birthdays. But when he started to sing, I had my guitar out, and he couldn't see me. He just starts starts to sing. I'm like, oh, man, we're not going to be in key. I always bring my guitar when we're singing happy birthday for folks so that we can all be in key because that almost never happens with people saying happy birthday unless you have a guitar to do so. And so he starts singing on the mic before I even get a chance to start playing. I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to start playing my guitar anyway. And he happens to sing exactly in the key of G that I was planning to play it in anyway. And everybody in the entire place is singing in tune with the guitar. It was incredible. I wish I kind of caught that part on camera at least, but I, I didn't. Sorry. Well, that's going to do it for us here today. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. If anybody out there needs any prayer for anything, please leave a comment down below and we'll make sure to do that for you. Um, uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. Man. You can say it louder. I want to give Leia well, my peacock fan because it's her birthday. My I'll set it right in here. Put it inside one of the bags, Sydney. Okay, like this one? Hmm?